The drink was almost gone, and Spencer hadn't shown. Perhaps he'd been distracted, she hoped. Since he was late, she thought she might return to her room and worry about finances tomorrow. It looks like your glass is empty. Would you permit a stranger to buy you a fresh drink, madame? Carlos smiled at the pretty lady. My name is Carlos. If you'll excuse me for being forward, you are stunning. Simone studied his face, looking to see if she knew the stranger. Their eyes met and she could hardly believe that this powerful, good-looking man who was tastefully dressed was really addressing her as a lady. She realized she'd forgotten she really was one. Before Simone could answer, a heavy hand grabbed hold of her arm. She tried to pull away and failed. Let's go, Simone. I have a perfect gig for you this afternoon, Spencer said with no greeting. In fact, the crew is waiting on you now. Carlos, completely unimpressed with Spencer's interruption, continued. And if the drink refresh finds favor with you, perhaps you would consent to have a little dinner as well. Spencer was in a hurry and was now fairly annoyed at Simone, but this new guy was really chafing him. Spencer asked, Was I talking to you, Buster? Simone works for me and right now we have work, so bugger off. Spencer turned to leave and tried to pull Simone from the stool. Simone, I like the sound of that name. Simone, will you have dinner and drinks with me? I think we should get to know one another better. Carlos smiled at her again, ignoring Spencer. Carlos reached for her hand and, with all the chivalry that can possibly be packed into one moment, took it and gently kissed it. Spencer was absolutely astonished. Simone, who could no longer see, hear, or feel Spencer, was enchanted. Yes, Sir Knight, Simone said to him with a charming smile. Carlos, enthralled by her voice and smile, smiled back at her. For all the impact that Spencer had on these two, he might as well have been a bar stool. Spencer was a man who was usually cold and calculating, but rarely impulsive. However, the sequence of events had swept him up into a rash action that he soon regretted.